Hi channel, so here I am in the 717 and it is, <laughs> I don't know, my seventh try to get this, um, to get this sort of, to get this recording done. Um, really like this plane, really like this plane, but I don't understand it and yeah, maybe, I, I mean, saying that, I just feel like, you know, yeah, that's Obviously, I don't understand because I haven't really read the manual yet or watched too many videos of how to run this yet. But I am really confused, you guys. It's um, really odd. Um, basically, what I'm struggling with is like right now I've I can get the I've been struggling with many things and it's been a series of issues. But the main troubles have been that I've been trying to. To run the plane with the, um, I've been trying to run the, run the plane with the um, Chase plane, the new camera add-on from SF FSFX little pa packages. Oops, look at this bad taxi, um, which has given me some issues um, with the controls, sort of control mapping. That's more or less fixed now. I think most of those recent re problems came from my previous installation of uh, easy dock uh, at the moment see the thing is I've been I have been running this plane before I've done a couple of flights in it I've done two small flights in it and I can I can I can operate the aircraft <laughs> however it turns out that now that I'm trying to do this, one of the one of my problems is I can't. I can operate the the FMS. Okay, so right now actually it doesn't. It seems to have cleared. Interesting. Let's see. I can operate the aircraft, but I can't get the. I can't seem to get the. Get the map to update with the flight plan I'm putting in. So I put this in, see, and there's basically nothing there. It just doesn't want to. Um, doesn't want to it doesn't want to bring this up to the map uh, and it did before and I don't realize so what it is something wrong I've reset the FMSs I've done everything that I can do to try and make this work and I can't so instead of flying to Germany, which was my plan, I think what we will do is just do a short, um, a short flight around Amsterdam. This is Flight Tampa Amsterdam, which I also just recently picked up. Um, I'll say it looks pretty great. It's pretty heavy on my frames. I'm um, in the twenties. Then again, I'm also in a pretty complex aircraft, and I'm running bunch of traffic. See? Bunch of traffic. Um, maybe actually for for now. You know what we'll do? We'll stop the traffic. We'll see if that makes much of a difference. It usually doesn't actually for me. See, it's still giving me frames in the teens. And let me see also, let me just see if it's the GPU, because now I'm running the, I'm using the GPU. See, 58% GPU load. So it's not the GPU, it's not the shadows or the clouds or anything like that, it's purely CPU. And when it comes to CPU, I'm kind of, I'm kind of 
effed to be honest. What I could do, let's go in here and let's do the traffic. Let's do the road vehicles all the way down just for now and let's stop the, these guys from casting shadows. Still in the teens. See, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Anyways, um, I will give this a go now. I think that's me trimmed more or less right. Let's see how well I can do this. Oh, I think it even cleared my Wii speeds. Okay, so there's that. So I actually had it configured with Wii speeds and everything, but then I kind of I got so upset with the um, with the issues I was having. It's a pretty sweet looking uh, airport though. Wow, that's brilliant. Actually, it's my first time seeing taking off here. This is like Copenhagen quality. I love the Copenhagen airport from Flight Tempa. So, as you can probably tell, I am. Speed. Fully hand flying Flat this. Flat over speed. Flat over speed. Yeah, and since I'm flying it like an idiot, the computer is stressing out about how I'm flying it. And we're getting some drop frames. Look at the tulips down there. This crazy Dutch. Oh, this is cool though. I will definitely learn how to fly this plane. Bang angle, bang angle. And I, we will do a proper bang flight angle, into this place. Bang angle, bang angle. So this is actually how I, I guess this is very reminiscent of how I started flying Flight Sim. Oh, OOM. Look at that. This is a real stress test, huh, of the system. But this is kind of disappointing if we're getting an OOM here just right after takeoff. That is an issue. I'm not really getting that much anymore at all but look at this it's beautiful beautiful scenery amazingly detailed and lovely to look at here's the airport well, there's that extra runway that they have way out to uh, for noise abatement if you've ever been to Schiphol in a real plane, you know how annoying that runway is. It's so annoying because the taxi literally is like half an hour. And almost every plane that lands or takes off, I think, uses that uh, runway. So I'm just gonna mad dog this. Um, Furious puppy into uh, into the airport. 
how I used to fly <laughs> back when um, back when before I learned how to fly I guess a little bit um, I've talked about this a little bit before in um, in some of my streams that how you know I started a flight sim bank angle bank angle with sort of no goal the goal was never to Don't think fly Don't correctly it was to um, have fun Speed break. and uh, as time has gone uh, then this skull the, the goal has been to do things correctly instead and that is now how I fly so this is <laughs> not how I usually fly uh, let's see if we can't bring it in it's very sluggish when you bring out the flaps. It maneuvers. It sort of it power slides almost this plane. It pulls. It drags its tail around. Maybe it's because the engines are back there too. I have no idea, but it certainly is different feeling to fly. Too, too low terrain. But too let's low see if terrain. we can't bring it in anyway. Too, too low terrain. terrain. Too low terrain. Yeah, it's not the not the runway we landed at. No, it took off from, but whatever. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. And my computer is really struggling with this scenery. Minimum. Thank you. We're landing. One hundred. Also lands lower to the ground than used to. Twenty, ten, five. Oh, I love I love Fly Tempa's runway textures with that shimmer. So we got the reversers. Then I have to disable them again, which I always forget. How to do it? It's like a three step process. I need to. Too many axes at once. I'm trying to move both the camera and and the plane. She's a beauty though. I think they've done a really good job of her. She she flies really well. I just I'm really looking forward to getting to to know this plane better. I really as you can tell, I don't know it very well. But I just I've been really dying to show you how great it is. It's it's really is something and I know that this <laughs> maybe this doesn't convince you that it is something, but this plane is is um it feels deep, it feels unique, and it's really fun to fly most of all. It's like it's got a real uh, real fun flight envelope. I think I'll try a different flight um, very soon with it, a shorter one. It's a little easier to program and a little easier to restart when I mess things up because I tend to mess this up a little bit, that's for sure. Beautiful, all right. Get that beautiful scenery, the Hawaiian scenery, the scenery. Did I say livery? Pretty awesome.
Ah, it's pretty. Oh, whatever. Whatever, man. Ah, this one had uh. There's a lot of lot of things that I need to learn with this plane. Still, it is a real um. Really intricate and uh, interesting plane, that's for sure. Really, it's something, something else. Great sound package too. I think it's TSS that does the sounds, and um, you know they're pretty great. I need to get my um pretty cool, huh? Is there an air stair? something that's a little messed up. Anyways, thanks for watching you guys. Um, I'll see you soon with a new one.